I'm Akash Chandigupta and welcome to this lecture on derivation for Lagrange interpolation formula. So let's just go ahead. The Lang Lagrange interpolation formula states that if x0, x1, x2, dot 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 xn be given set of observations and they do not need to be equally expressed equally spaced that is the difference between the two consecutive any two consecutive uh, values of x need not be equal so and uh, y be the corresponding values for this uh, set of observations then the Langrange interpolation formula is given by this expression uh, which is function of fx and here you see it has a pattern in them when the first term is for uh, y naught and for y naught the x naught is absent on the top here we have started from x minus x1 not x minus x naught and in the bottom we will have x of naught so similarly here we have y1 here we have x1 in the front and similarly a while computing for y of 1 we will have x of 1 missing so here on the top we have started from x minus of x naught and we have skipped x minus of x1 and jumped to x minus of x2 and dot 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 up to x of n the last set of observation similarly the bottom part has the denominator has x1 in it and x minus x1 minus of x1 is missing here so this is what uh, the Lagrange interpolation formula has a pattern in it so to prove this we consider an a, a nth degree polynomial which is given by this expression which is a naught okay and these are all x minus bracket terms having x minus of x1 likewise similarly similar to the newton's uh, forward interpolation uh, polynomial which we have just derived in uh, one of our lectures okay so here we also have a naught x minus of x1 x minus of x2 up to x minus of x of n similarly a1 we have uh, again we have pattern we have x minus of x1 missing only the term bracket only that term only that bracket term will be missing in which the the x term has the same base as that of a of 1 or a of 0 or base of a in general so here base of a is 0 so or not uh, so we have x not missing in this bracket terms similarly here we have base of a to be 1 so we have x of 1 missing on all these bracket terms similarly when we have a of n that is the base of a to be n then we have x of n missing and we uh, form the expression up to x of n minus 1 so what we do here is we substitute the values of x's the all the set of observations one by one and what we obtain is the values of a's here you see we substituted x naught we obtained a here we substituted x1 we obtained a1 so how do we substitute it first of all we substitute x of naught so while substituting x of naught in this expression what happens is here there is no x of naught term in the numerator all right no x of naught term in the numerator so when we substitute the value of x to be x naught then x naught minus of x1 no problem it will not be 0 the x naught minus of x2 will not be 0 likewise but if we substitute in this other terms what happens is they have x of naught in the bracket term in the numerator so that is why when we substitute x of naught here this x naught and this x naught gets cancelled out and the numerator turns out to be zero and hence eventually the whole term turns out to be zero because numerator is zero likewise happens this happens for all the terms uh, after y of naught that is for y1 y2 dot 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 up to y of n so this happens so that is why this polynomial is made in such way that this our y of naught uh, 
a, a of not values can be derived from it. So what happens when you substitute function of x to be x of not? We obtain this and y of not here. Okay. So these are the values we obtain. Only a of not we obtain, and we substituted this. Similarly, when substituting x of x value to be x of 1 in the function we get this expression only x1 term sorry a1 term only a1 term so we from here we eliminate a1 and we obtain this similarly by sub further substituting and proceeding in the similar manner we obtain all the values of a's consecutively for a2 a3 a4 up to a of n so for a of n we can generalize this expression that we for a of n we will have this y of n okay by a, x of n dot dot up to x of n minus this is for a of n so what we do here is we have found all the values of a's in for the polynomial we have we have found all the values for a so what we do we just substitute all the values of a in the polynomial and what we obtained is the language interpolation formula. So this is how simple it is. Uh, we just substitute all the values of A's. We don't see any A's term here. This is the required language interpolation formula. And one thing you must be careful about while applying language interpolation formula is that it is applicable for both equally and unequally spaced argument. What uh, I mean by this statement this statement is this that the values of x's two consecutive values of x's When we find the difference between the two consecutive values of x's They are not same all the time suppose one first value of a to be the first value of x let it to be 2 then it is 3 then it is 5 so what happens the difference between 2 and 3 is 1 Okay, and the difference between 3 and uh, 5 is 2. So, this is the case where uh, Newton's forward and Newton's backward uh, expressions fails. And this is where uh, language interpolation formula comes useful. So, it is to be noted that language interpolation formula is applicable for both equally and unequally spaced arguments while solving interpolation problems so this is this was the language interpolation derivation and uh, hope you understand whatever i have said it's quite simple proof okay nothing is complicated here only just you have to remember is the polynomial after that substitution and and uh, substitution nothing else so this was the language interpolation formula thank you